From VOA Learning English, this is the Agriculture Report. Recently, a small group of bird watchers spent three weeks around Mount Vernon, the home of the first U.S. President, George Washington. They were busy counting wild birds in Mount Vernon's wetlands, just south of Washington, D.C. They worked for several weeks in December and January. The bird watchers were among 70,000 volunteers who collected information for the National Audubon Society, a U.S. conservation group. They counted birds in more than 2,000 400 areas in the United States, Canada, the Caribbean Sea, and other parts of the Americas. The Audubon Society's first Christmas bird count took place 115 years ago in 1900. At the time, a man named Frank Chapman suggested a new Christmas tradition, that people count birds instead of shooting them around the holiday. Last year, the bird count recorded over 66 million birds of 2,403 different species. Gary Langham is chief scientist with the National Audubon Society. He says that half the birds in North America, 314 out of 588 species, are seriously threatened by climate change. Information from the bird counts has shown that birds are staying farther north during the winter months because of warmer weather. David Yarnold is president of the Audubon Society. In his words, Christmas bird count data is becoming important, not only in documenting current climate change, but in predicting the future effects of climate change on North America bird populations. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.